In this video, the latest finds of archaeologists are waiting for you. And at the end, you will hear a touching story about a family that was discovered by archaeologists in the 20th century. Watch the video until the end, it will be interesting. Hi friend, you're on the Kurtop channel. Eyeliner and Wax Remover in the UK, archaeologists have discovered hundreds of items buried with wealthy Anglo-Saxons. Experts say they found grave goods after excavating 141 burial sites in Wendover, Buckinghamshire. Artifacts ranged from jewelry and beads to swords, shields and spears, all of which were buried with the dead. Interestingly, the rest in places also contain personal hygiene kits, including earwax removers, toothpicks, and tweezers. The researchers even found brooches, hairbrushes, and a cosmetic tube that could have contained a substance used as eyeliner. This is one of the largest Anglo-Saxon burials discovered in Great Britain. Experts say the findings will help analyze what culture and society really were like in an era of undocumented times. 1,500 years ago, people in Britain stopped documenting things. Traditionally, this period was considered the Dark Age. But archaeology helps to fill these gaps. By studying the things our ancestors left in the ground, their glass, jewelry, weapons, and even their bodies, we can build a rich picture of a dynamic and vital period in our history. In total, there were 138 graves at the site, of which 141 were inhumations and 5 were cremation burials. Along with personal hygiene items, more than 2,000 beads, 89 brooches, 51 knives, 40 buckles, and 15 spear hats were found in the graves. The archaeologists noted that the items with each burial were adapted for each person, meaning that items had a specific meaning for the deceased and the mourners at the grave. Boat 10,000 years old the Passe canoe was found in the Netherlands during highway construction in 1955 and is the oldest boat ever discovered. According to the Drens Museum in Assen, it was made by diggling out the inside of a log with an axe. Because some researchers wondered if the item could be an animal trough, even though people didn't keep animals in the Netherlands at the time, the museum created a replica and took it out onto the water, proving it could float. Early Medieval Cemetery Discovered Archaeologists in Germany have discovered 110 graves dating back to the 6th and 7th centuries. Among the finds are gold and bronze objects as well as a headless horse. Early medieval burials have been found in the city of Knittlingen in southwestern Germany. Most of the 110 graves were buried in rows, but some of the elite were buried in a round pit. Grave structures range from simple burials to wooden burial chambers, only the last pieces of wood have survived. Some of the dead were buried in wooden coffins. Ceramic vessels and bronze bowls were also added to the graves of men and women, which probably contained food. Animal bones and eggshells were found in them. The finds give an idea of the social status of the dead. Some of the male graves identified the deceased as cavalrymen. A headless horse was buried next to one of these burials. As would be expected due to Knitlingen's location in the fertile landscape of old settlements, research has also unearthed isolated prehistoric Ice Stone Age finds. Several ceramic fragments that have been discovered date from the Neolithic period, from about 5000 to 4500 BC. The Galloway Hoard and another exciting discovery. A rare rock crystal jar found wrapped in cloth as part of the Galloway Hoard, which dates from around 900, has been preserved and has a laden inscription written in gold. The inscription says that the jug was made for a bishop named Higwald. The Galloway Hoard is the richest collection of rare and unique Viking Age items ever found in the British Isles. It was discovered in 2014 and acquired by the National Museums of Scotland in 2017. The hoard 
board includes more than a hundred items such as brooches, ingots, glass beads, a Christian cross and a silver vessel. Even some of the fabrics with which the materials were originally wrapped have been preserved. It is believed that a crystal jug about 5 cm high, resembling a richly decorated perfume bottle, served a church function. Now it has been carefully separated from the packaging. The latent inscription on the base, written in gold letters, translates as Bishop Hickwold ordered me to make me. The inscription is in Latin, which in those days was the universal language of the Western Church. From the records of that period, we know that there were several clerics named Hickwold in early medieval Northumbria. Some studies of the artifact included a 3D X-ray image. The scan was done in collaboration with the British Museum, allowing the packaged object to be examined without damaging it. Rock crystal is unusual in itself. It is one of those materials that were highly valued in the ancient world for its transparency and translucency, which is why it is associated with purity. The gold almost immortalizes it. It has become a kind of relic. Evidence of the first people in Britain at one of the oldest Paleolithic sites in Northern Europe, experts have found evidence that the city on the outskirts of Kent was home to Homo heidelbergensis. The ancestor of the Neanderthals, Homo heidelbergensis, was thought to have occupied Britain between 560,000 and 620,000 years ago, when it was not yet an island and still connected to the European continent. Findings of researchers can also testify to the oldest processing of animal skins in prehistoric Europe. The Fordwich site, located in an ancient riverbed, was first discovered as early as the 1920s. At that time, local workers discovered artifacts of stone tools known as hand axes. But a new excavation team led by the University of Cambridge's Department of Archaeology has not only unearthed new flint artifacts and the first scrapers ever found there, but has also managed to figure out their approximate age. The researchers used a modern dating technique known as infrared radiofluorescence. The artifacts are exactly where the ancient river placed them, which means that we can say with certainty that they were made before the river moved to another part of the valley. Low McQuee Stone Tools it is truly exciting and very touching to be the first to pick up a stone artifact since its original creator laid it on the ground millions of years ago. Who this original creator is remains unknown. Low McQuee tools were created for forging and cutting long before the genus Homo was born. And this is about 2.8 million years ago. Traditional history and human evolution studies suggest that the origin of stone tools by our ancestors was associated with the emergence of the genus Homo, and that this technological development was associated with climate change and the spread of savannas. The discovery by the West Arcana Archaeological Project team of tools half a million years older than the earliest known Homo fossils suggests that it is possible that other, earlier hominites learned to make tools, or that some as yet unknown members of the Homo genus arose much earlier than we thought. Lost 2,000-year-old ancient city of Bessania Polish archaeologists may have discovered the 2,000-year-old lost city of Bessania in Albania. Archaeologists from the University of Warsaw have discovered the remains of two large ancient stone structures on a hilltop near Shkodra in Albania. A few years ago, it was believed that only natural rock remains existed here. According to researchers, this is probably Bessania, a city described by the Roman historian Livy, in the context of the battles of the Roman troops with the last king of Illyria, Chantius. In May 2018, archaeologists unearthed only part of the walls and the door. The open gates were accompanied by two bastions, to which powerful defensive walls over 3 meters wide lad. Their outer parts were made of profiled stone blocks. The space between them was filled with small stones and earth. According to researchers, this type of construction is typical for Hellenistic defensive structures. This dating is also confirmed by objects found by archaeologists near the walls, coins and fragments of ceramic vessels of the 4th 1st centuries BC. This means that the city functioned during the Illyrian Kingdom, which ceased to exist at the turn of the millennium after the Roman invasion. The city was destroyed over the years and its walls rolled down the slopes. It also served as a local 
archaeological quarry. Many of the surrounding houses are built from large blocks carved from archaeological sites. Despite erosion and human activity in the ancient city, archaeologists were lucky enough to find fragments of ancient pottery. Thanks to their analysis, it was found that the hill was inhabited as early as the second millennium BC. Stone Tools in America at the Buttermilk Creek archaeological site in Central Texas, Michael R. Waters, director of the Center of Early American Studies at Texas A.M. University, and his team found projectile points, blades, and other tools that date beyond time. Researchers have long believed that humans migrated to North America after crossing the Bering Strait from Siberia at the end of the last Ice Age. It is the oldest archaeological site in North America. This proves that people passed the Bering Strait region before the ice receded. They probably traveled south along the west coast, possibly by boat, to reach the mainland of North and South America and spread across the continents. Tomb of a 10th century warrior in Poland the remains of a warrior buried at the end of the 10th century in a northern mausoleum were discovered in the village of Bodzia in central Poland. According to the researchers, this man had an elite status and spent most of his life in Scandinavia. The necropolis dates back to the end of the 10th and the first half of the 11th century and consists of elite burials of several dozen people. Evidence of this is the rich equipment of the graves. Andrzej Buko, an archaeologist and professor at the University of Warsaw offers a new interpretation of the origin of this necropolis. In his opinion, initially it was not a cemetery but a single grave, the mausoleum of a prominent representative of the elite, Mieszko I, the ruler of Poland from 960 to 992. The mausoleum was built in the form of a large earthen burial chamber with a diameter of about 3 meters. The burial was crowned with a stele, the grave was fenced with a rectangular palisade. The entrance to the tomb was from the west. The body of the deceased, a man of 35-45 years old, was placed in a wooden coffin. According to Buko, the deceased received numerous gifts on his last journey. Fragments of cloth in the form of linen fabric have been preserved, as well as iron fittings of a knight's belt, a knife in a leather sheath, and coins. One coinage from Saxony, the other from the Czech Republic. Analysis of strontium isotopes contained in the deceased teeth indicates that he was born in northern Poland, but he was buried according to foreign rites. In addition, people, probably of Scandinavian origin, were later buried in nearby graves. Archaeologists believe that although the deceased buried in the grave of the mausoleum was born in Poland, he spent a significant part of his life in Scandinavia. Then he rose to a high position in the social hierarchy, at some point in his life he returned to his homeland. Golden Bead a tiny golden bee discovered in Bulgaria is believed to be the oldest example of a worked gold object ever discovered. It is 6,500 years old. It is only one-eighth of an inch in diameter and was found at a site called Tel Yunazi, where researchers also found hundreds of ceramic bird figurines that could have been used in a religious ceremony. The area was home to the Balkan civilization of the Copper Age, where metal production was developed and the people had extensive trading networks. The death of a young family in an earthquake Sometimes, when archaeologists find the remains of victims of natural disasters, their photographs suddenly touch our hardened hearts, as if we knew these people. Is it because they were not much different from you and me? Just as you and I, they enjoyed life, took care of children and loved ones, and at the most terrible moment in the face of already inevitable death, they sometimes had only one desire – to protect their loved ones. This is a photograph of the remains of a young family who died in their bed. The mother covers the child with her hand. The father tries to cover both of them with his body. They died in the early morning of July 21st, 365 AD. 
The child is one and a half years old, the mother is about 19-20 years old, the father is 25-35. How and why did they die? The Mediterranean region has known quite a few natural disasters, of which the most destructive was the explosion of the Thera Volcano, Santorini Island, around 1500 BC, which put an end to the power of the Minoan civilization. Perhaps the legend of the death of Atlantis is associated with this event. Unfortunately, there is no information about the catastrophe in written sources. Those who could write died and those who survived certainly had no time for it. The events of 365 AD made a huge impression on contemporaries, much more than the death of Pompey and Herculaneum. And the victims were no longer thousands, as in the death of two cities, but tens or even hundreds of thousands. The epicenter of the earthquake is at the very edge of the eastern coast of the island of Crete. There is no written evidence of the death of the city of Corian, but in 1934 the earthquake house was found here, in which, during subsequent excavations, the remains of seven people were found, including our young family. The father managed to cover the mother with his body hugging the crying child, trying to protect them from stones falling from above. Nobody managed to escape. Too many people died that morning in the city, because no one came to dig them up. Not the next day, not a week later, not a month later. They lay there for 16 and a half centuries, until archaeologists found the house. The family was not rich, but the house is very solid. By the time of the destruction, it has stood for at least a couple of centuries. The young woman had a simple flat brooch around her neck, made of semi-precious or other ornamental stone. The father of the family found two rings, one iron and an inexpensive bronze ring. The mother covered the child who hugged her, and the father tried to protect them both with his body. Tell me, dear viewers, what is this if not love? Write your comments under the video and share it with your friends. Thanks for the views. Bye, everyone!